this character genuinely matters to a lot of people, and the more people I've met, I've realized that. Decisions in this story and future stories are very much based upon their care and love for the character. I think that Henry is sensitive, very sensitive to what he perceives to be Superman's responsibility to audiences and to the world. And I think that you kind of have to when you molded this character out of your guts and your psyche. I think our Clark, he's definitely more low key. I wouldn't say he's a misfit that was in the prior movies or some of the comics, but he's trying to fly under the radar. Just keep the status quo. He is impeccably dressed for someone who's on a reporter's salary, I must admit. It's really enjoyable for Henry and I to think about Clark Kent's wardrobe in this film. His look is not ultra sophisticated, it's just kind of a guy that's moved to the city, works in an office, and is sort of beginning to work out who he is. Some of his shirts have some of the plaid in them, so there's a little reminder of the, uh, the Midwestern boy from Kansas. For all of his civilian outfits, we had to make them from scratch. We were very conscious of using fabrics that really sort of de-emphasized his amazing physique, helped him hide in his clothes. So yeah, we really enjoyed getting the balance right for this new look for him. When the planet was founded, it stood for something, Perry. And so could you if it was 1938, but it's not 1938. For this film, we wanted to keep developing the Superman suit. Zack liked the idea that his costume became even more streamlined, so we tried some new technologies and um, changed the side detail. We also found a great new fabric for the cape, which has a beautiful sort of unearthly metallic sheen and sort of blends beautifully with the, the blue of his suit. Zack also had this great idea of incorporating some Kryptonian script this time. You'll notice that through the bicep, through the S glyph on his chest, through the belt and the wrist, there's some very delicate Kryptonian script that is incorporated into the chainmail pattern. And what it is, it's a Joseph Campbell quote that Zach really liked in relation to Superman. It's a beautiful quote that ends with, where we had thought to be alone, we will be with all the world. These are the things that Zach discusses in, in his film there in the script. This means something. You did on my world. The suit, the trickiest thing I found, is not designed to be rained on. I mean, the shoes, for example, just fill with water, which is fine, you know, as long as you tip your boots in one way and all the water comes out, then you're ready for another take. But otherwise, it's sloshing about the place, and, and the material in the suit starts to stretch a little bit. But during a fight sequence where the person you're fighting because of the nature of their costume can't see anything, you're the one who has to be watching for punches, the usual stuff of when you're punching someone, it's where to punch, how deep. Whatever excuses you gotta need, his eyes are covered, he can't see. And as soon as it starts raining, all of your distance is messed with. You have to adjust immediately. Plus, the water's really cold, and so is that moment of sort of going, <gasps> an action and then remembering everything you have to do and try not to get hit in the face by a guy wearing hot plastic gloves or vice versa. All the fight sequences and stunt sequences are a lot of fun to do, they really are. I spent six months doing all kinds of training anyway and I got a chance to run through especially this sequence with the stunt guys over and over again. I've been very fortunate to have Albert do a lot of the really tricky wire stuff for me which can cause some genuine injuries. Superman is an alien, he comes from another planet, he's not an earthling. And so the fact that he's not one of us really, no matter what he does, there could always be a critic that says that's unnatural to have some guy fly out of the sky and snatch you. So it's an interesting world for Superman to navigate because it's a fresh world for Superman in that respect. It's very difficult to write a Superman story. There's a deep complexity to the nature of Superman being a godlike being with godlike powers. It's about keeping the complexity and truth of the character without ruining anything else.